Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. I'm Jessica Cootie, and what an interview we have lined up today. Kelly Ann Strand, the freshman phenom from Nebraska Women's Golf. We've been talking about her since the fall and got her in studio. I'm so excited to get to chat with you. We were both small town kids, so yes. thanks for joining us. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Well, you guys are headed to regional this week. We we're going to talk all about that, but also wanted to chat about your backstory because you have a fascinating backstory. So um, small town out of Idaho, Chalice, yeah, Chalice, right? Chalice, Chalice right? Idaho. Mm -hmm. Tell us about how you grew up. Yeah, so my town is really small. It's less than a thousand people that live there, and we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's like two and a half hours to the nearest city, the nearest stoplight, uh, the nearest 18 hole golf course. So we're really in the middle of nowhere, and it's it's definitely a different lifestyle, but I, I've loved growing up there. There's just a lot of support from the community, and like you said, everybody knows everybody. So. It's 14 really nice. people in your graduating class. Yes. And just and two girls, right? Two girls, yes. So we had a lot of boys, two girls, but I grew up with them. Like, I went to school with a lot of them since kindergarten all the way since we graduated. So um, it's kind of like a family almost. Like, I've, I've known everybody there since I've, I was a kid. So, so you just said the nearest... 18 hole golf course is two hours away you just had a nine hole course so how did you even get into golf yeah so my brother started before i did we started doing clinics in like a town my grandparents live in um he started before i did he was probably six or so and i started when i was seven uh, i just started doing clinics and i really liked it and so i did my first tournament it was like a three hole tournament in idaho when i was eight i think and i just really enjoyed it so i just kept going with it and here i am now how many times did you play that nine hole course in oh, Chalice? Oh, countless times. <laughs> I, I grew up there. I actually live behind the number one green. So like out my back door is the course. So I'm out there all the time. So you know all the ins and outs of that. Yes. What's the best score you shot there? Ooh, I think on nine holes, probably 31, 32. I don't know for sure. Um, 18 holes would probably be 64, 65. Wow. Um, but yeah. So how did you get to the point, because probably a lot of people are like, how in the world did you become to the caliber where you could get a college scholarship out of that? What, how did that evolve for you where you felt like, wow, I could maybe use this to take me places um, collegiately? Yeah, I mean, I don't know for sure. I just kind of kept working at it and I didn't really know like what would happen and just it kind of all fell into place really. I just kept working at it and kind of thought, I'll see where this can take me and yeah, it worked out. So what was the recruiting process like then? Yeah, so it was a little bit challenging just coming from a small town, like not a lot of people know who you are, but I tried to play in bigger tournaments so that I could kind of get my name out there. And um, yeah, I talked to several schools. Um, I came on a visit here and I really liked it when I came here. Um, I went on some other visits, but then I just ended up deciding I wanted to come here. So yeah, it was, it was good. Yeah, it was a good experience for sure. What did you like it about here that um, it felt like it would be a good fit? For I really you? loved the atmosphere. When I came on my visit, it was like when everybody was moving in and it was just really good energy and good atmosphere and I loved that and I really got along with the team well and I really liked them so I thought that's a really important thing when you're going to spend a lot of time with a team you want to know. Like you want to know you're going to a good team. So I really liked that and then the facilities and coaching was really good too. So it all just seemed like a good fit for me. That's awesome. Did you play other sports? Uh, I played basketball a little bit. I mean, I played several sports when I was really young, but I played basketball in junior high, but decided after that just to stick with golf. So in Idaho's weather's pretty similar to here, right? Yes, it's even where I grew up is even worse. Like we, I think the snow in my hometown, like just barely melted, like probably a few days ago. So we get a lot more snow and it's, colder winters I would say we don't have as much wind as here but um, like golfing we've been able to golf outside here more than in my hometown so it's actually a little better here so some people are scared to come to college you were not one that was deterred by the weather here in no because I knew <laughs> I knew coming in that it was gonna be better like it doesn't get much worse than where I'm from so anything would be better really how did you guys feel? Did you, I mean, you just played individually golf in, in high school? So I actually, we didn't have a high school team when I was 
getting ready to go into high school, but my brother, he's two years older than me. He, his first year of high school, he went to a, like a town nearby that's also really small and they like partnered up to become a team. But when I got to high school, we decided to make a high school team. And so we just got three girls that had never touched a golf club in their life and some guys too and we formed a team and kind of taught them how to play and everything so we were able to compete as a team um, we made it to state every year my last year in high school we got fourth at state so wow yeah it was really fun just getting to be on a team and we were actually uh, academic state champions um, my last year so yeah it was really fun to do that that's awesome and you were a three-time state champion yourself right yes yeah yeah was uh your brother uh do you guys battle it out yeah a so lot? growing up we played a lot he won a high school state championship too and so it's really fun just having someone to compete with like in my hometown there's not really other kids that play a lot of golf and so it was me and him playing a lot so it was really fun to have someone to compete with and better myself and like we had a lot of fun games on the course so and was your uncle your coach yeah he was our high school coach and so he helped me a lot um even personally like before i got to high school we worked together a lot and just because i mean i didn't have anybody and so he was that person and in high school he was our coach too so yeah. So, you know, you talk about a lot of golfers these days and when they're growing up, they're going to get lessons at a country club that's right mm -hmm. down the road. But for you, you didn't have that. So who who helped you hone in on yeah, your technique so, and all of that? I mean, I started out going to clinics, clinics when I was young, but it was mostly my uncle, really, just because he was there in my hometown. I didn't have to travel to go anywhere. So he kind of learned a lot about golf, too, and just helped me kind of navigate through that. Um, but yeah, we don't have country clubs or anything nearby, <laughs> so it's just my nine-hole course and him that we did a lot together. So, What's the strength of your game? Well, I'd say my distance off the tee is pretty good, and it's normally pretty accurate, so that helps me a lot, just hitting fairways and being long enough. Um, I'd say that's probably my biggest strength. What's the part that you've really had to focus on that you've had to, yes. sometimes you battle it mm -hmm. on. I feel like every golfer has oh, that part sure. of their game that they have to really battle. There's with. always a part that you have to get better at. <laughs> um, before I got to college, my putting was lacking a lot and it's improved a lot since I've gotten here. So that's still something I can keep improving on, obviously, but that's probably my biggest thing that I've improved on lately. What, what's gone into that for you? How have you gotten better um, at that? I think a little bit, like my coach has helped me a lot with technique and stuff, but just being able to practice on good greens a lot and just working on drills like speed control and all of that has helped me a lot since I've been here. So you come onto campus and I mean, just making an immediate impact. Your, your first tournament, you set the 54 hole school record. You've set a freshman record. You're on track to break all kinds of records already just in your freshman season. So how were you able to come in and immediately, you know, adjust and be able to compete at the college level? Yeah, I mean, the first few weeks were kind of tough just getting going, but I just kind of came in with the mentality, not really thinking like, not having a ton of expectations, I guess, and just going out and seeing what could happen. And I think that's kind of what helped me just kind of stay on track is just not really knowing what was going to happen and just kind of going in relaxed and just playing golf like I always have. What about being a part of a team collegially? You talk about how that was important for you and, and the feel of that, but it can be such an individual sport. So how much has that helped you navigate your freshman year being a yeah. part of that team? It's just so fun. Like it's such a different type of golf, just being with a team, having those people supporting you and just going through every step with you. Like practice rounds are great because you can talk with your team, how you want to play certain holes, how you want to do things. And so it's really, it's been such a great experience having girls to play with and just go through all of this with. So they've been so supportive and I'm so lucky to have such a great team. So the 54 hole record, it was at Tulane, right? Uh, yes. Take me back to that. Did you feel like, okay, I'm having a pretty good day? I mean, I was just kind of playing. I wasn't really thinking like what I was scoring. I was just trying to play every shot how I wanted to and it worked. I mean, I wasn't super caught up in what I was doing, um, which helps a lot. Can it be contagious though once you start rolling out those birdies? Like you yeah, start feeling sure. like you're in the zone? I think, yeah, momentum I think is a real thing. Like you can really get going on a good path or a bad path, but I mean, it's hard to stop the bad momentum, but it's easy to keep going with good momentum from my experience, I think. So yeah, I mean, when you just start making putts, I guess it just seems like they could kind of keep going in. And so it's really fun to have that experience. 
Well, you guys uh, qualified for a regional, got a regional bid. You're going to be the 10th seed at the Rally Regional. The team didn't make the postseason last year, made in 2021, but how special was that moment? Your first oh. time in college to see Nebraska's name pop up there. It was so exciting. Yeah, we had like kind of a team event where we got together to watch the selection, and it was just super exciting to see our, our name up there to be able to compete. So we're super excited to go into that. So you're headed to Raleigh. Um, it's 12, 12 team field, and it's the eighth May eighth through the tenth. What's next? I mean, how do you guys go about preparing yourself for the regional? Yeah, I think just kind of doing what we've been doing all year. Just, um, I mean, our practices lately have kind of been focused on what we need to kind of hone in for that golf course, and then just um, getting rest and practicing and going through the practice round, just like we have all year, just focusing on what we need to focus. And yeah, I mean, it's a bigger tournament, but I think we'll just kind of do the same process we've been doing all year. Do you know much about the golf course yet? Um, not a ton. I know like the greens are slopey. I know a few things like that, but I don't know a ton yet. I'm going to do some research this week to kind of get ready for that. What goes into that research? What do you look for when you're Yeah, so I mean a lot of courses have online stuff where you can kind of go through a tour of the course. You can kind of look at the layout of every hole and like some some places online have like kind of tips to know and so I'll just do that and kind of I think we'll get the yardages ahead of time of how far each hole is playing so you can kind of look online um, and just see if there's anything you need to know before going into it. And then you get a couple of practice rounds there. And so when you're going into a, a course that you've never played before, uh, and some teams have, I mean, certainly they'll have the home course advantage, if you will. But what goes into the practice rounds to make sure you are ready when the real thing happens? Yeah, so the first day we'll get there, um, we don't get to play, but we'll get to go to the course and probably putt on the greens a little bit, just getting used to the speed of the greens. Um, and then the practice round, just knowing where you want your tee shots to be be where if you have to miss where a good spot is to miss where you don't want to be like the breaks on the greens some of the courses like you know everything breaks to a valley or to a certain spot on the course and so that's really helpful to know sometimes just so you know the breaks might be a little bit different on this hole than you think um, but yeah just going through the course knowing where you want to be pretty much is the main thing and your first time going to collegiate postseason, but you've played a lot of postseason, a lot of high pressure golf tournaments. What what is kind of the big things that you try to take to these types of situations to be able to have success? Yeah, I think trying to keep just a really calm, like relaxed attitude is. I mean, it's tough going into postseason because it feels like there's a lot more pressure because it's all kind of riding on this. But I think as a team, we're going to try to just have a really relaxed attitude and have fun out there, and I think that will help. Just keep relaxed and not feel the pressure too much. You've had a heck of a freshman season, but beyond just what you've done as an athlete, you had a 4.0 last semester. You were part of the Tom Osborne Citizenship mm -hmm. Team, which is, a, which is a big deal here. What has the overall student athlete experience been like for you? It's been so great. I've loved it here. I mean, it's it took a little bit to kind of realize how to balance school and golf, volunteering. I mean, all of that, but I've kind of gotten in a groove and it's helped. Um, I've had such a supportive team just encouraging us to like do volunteering and a lot of volunteering we do as a group and so it really makes it easier and yeah so I'd say just figuring out a balance between all of that. Why is it so important to you to be well-rounded in that regard? Yeah absolutely well I, I love to give back to the community in any way so I think that's something that's really important and then I've always been focused on school so just being focused on all aspects of life I think is really important. Did Chalice have a football team? Well, we did, but they had to, this year they actually joined up with a team nearby, and so we don't have many kids, but yeah, they, they did have a team, but we're not too good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that had to be different, coming oh, to like a college-type sure. town with football, yes. such, such a big deal in the fall. Yes, I loved, we went to all the games when we were home, and it was just such a great atmosphere. Like, every, the fans are so supportive, and just like the the energy there is incredible and it's very different from my football team in high school <laughs> so that was super fun i loved going to the games what about coach sutherland i love her oh she she's awesome. Is so awesome i always love talking to her yes she's such a great coach we've learned a lot i've learned a lot from her this year and i think she keeps the energy really light with our team and i mean she's just such a great person all around so i'm really lucky to have her as a coach well how ready are you guys we're ready. I mean, I think we're super pumped to go to this. I know I am super excited, and um, this week has been great just preparing and getting ready for it, but we're super excited to go. We're excited to watch you guys. We'll be following every step of the way. Kelly Strand, appreciate your time. Best of luck. Go get them. Thank you so much.